From robot assistants to flying vehicles, making these visions a reality demands even more powerful wireless networks. In 1973, the world's first mobile phone call was made on the then 1G network, which could only transmit voice. Then came 2G, which enabled texting, 3G brought us web browsing. With new each generation, our phones were able to do more, making it possible for new industries to emerge. Now, as China moves towards 6G, it's laying the groundwork for a digital future full of new opportunities. In the northern suburbs of Beijing, scientists are busy working on the next generation of wireless infrastructure at China Mobile's 6G Open Lab. So compared to 5G, I do see a 6G will be beyond communication. That means it will integrate communication together with sensing, computing, big data, AI, and also security together in a native way. Enabling these new capabilities means redesigning the network and putting up new types of base stations. This is our prototype for a sixth generation base station. It converts the data we want to transmit into radio frequency signals. We call this device the AAU. Compared to 5G base stations, these devices transmit data at higher frequencies with broader bandwidth, enabling even faster speeds. The prototype 6G base stations are already being tested in this park. They communicate with this autonomous driving robot, simulating how mobile phones will interact with 6G stations in the future. They are antennas for the 6G terminal. For 6G, devices and networks will exchange far more information than they do today. Take factories, for example. We used to think offering ultra-low latency and high reliability was enough, but it's not. They also need precise positioning and sensing, computing and storage capabilities, and AI capabilities. We even hope to integrate their entire IT systems into the network. 5G, due to limitations in its design and capabilities, can't fully meet these demands. That's why we hope 6G can solve these issues once and for all. To support companies across the supply chain, the team has built a board into their base station that let other players test their technologies in the 6G environment. Many small and medium-sized enterprises and universities don't have the budget for such large-scale R&D or for purchasing expensive hardware. It can cost hundreds of millions of yuan. With our setup, they can just develop a part of the 6th G system. We handle the rest and integrate everything for testing. The goal is to build an ecosystem capable of generating commercial value, something 5G has struggled to deliver. So for future, we need more vendors, more friends to join us. We can work together, try to push everything to go ahead as we expected. By year 2030, we can have uh, our ecosystem to be, to be matured and our apps uh, our, and also new service, new application and also the new business model can be matured. By that way, we can just say, okay, we can have everything be ready. We can start the launch of the 6G.